Are you leaving? Yes. I have some errands to run before I get ready for tonight. I've never been to a wedding planner charity event before. <laughs> well, it should be a lot of fun, Teresa. Well, it can't be as much fun as we had up at the cabin. <laughs> yes, we had a lot of good laughs. And I'm sure we'll have some more tonight. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. I'm counting on you on helping me decide on the caterer for Gwen's and my wedding. Yeah. Oh, did I tell you you could bring a friend? No. Oh, well, guests are welcome. So, the more the merrier. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Really is fate. The way we keep getting thrown together. Fate. Wait, wait! I was just gonna call you. Stay put, I'll be right back. Where are you going? To my room. I have to get a dress for tonight. What's going on? I'll fill you in when I get back, but it's the greatest news. Is it like wonderful? Okay. I wasn't gonna wear this dress. And then I started thinking, it's fate. I mean, I wore this dress on New Year's Eve, and where was I at the stroke of midnight? In Ethan's arms. So what do you think? Bessie, yes, no? What's the occasion? It's a charity event. Who are you going with? Who do you think? Ethan. Of course, I wouldn't go out with anybody but Ethan. You know that? Yeah, of course I do. So, look, how did you wangle this invitation, huh? I didn't have to do anything. Ethan asked me to go out with him himself. Yeah, right. Sure he did. I swear. It's some wedding planner charity event thing. It's what Ethan and I have been doing. Planning his and Gwen's wedding. She's the missing ingredient here, Teresa. Gwen is on some fundraising committee. So she'll be there? No. She's still out of town, which means I will be filling in for her. You remember you made a promise to God not to go after Ethan. And I won't. Yeah, right. In fact, you could say Ethan is going after me by asking me to go with him tonight. So what do you think? What? What? You drifted off there for a moment. Something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. My parents found out that Chad was up at the cabin. What? We said we weren't going to say anything. Yeah, well, stupid K blurted it out. And all hell broke loose, Teresa. My dad, he really lost it. And then Chad showed up, and he was ready to kill him. Oh, my God. Luckily, I was able to explain just in time that Chad rescued me, and then my dad was okay with it. But it was still in my head about what the fortune teller said last summer. You remember that, don't you? That one day, my father was going to kill someone. No, I didn't believe it then, but after today, I saw murder in his eyes, Teresa. And it was all because of Chad. It terrified me. You know, I just have to stay far, far away from Chad. I heard that Gwen was going out of town for a while. I thought this was the chance I'd been waiting for. With Gwen not around to distract Ethan, I thought, I hoped that Ethan would realize that I'm the one for him, that we were meant for each other. Yeah, fate, right? But with Ethan always going on and on about Gwen, it's a long shot. So why even go tonight, Teresa? Why even go to this charity event? It's destiny. I have to go. Destiny? What happened to fate? Maybe I'll get lucky. Like those people who win the lottery? Maybe I'll win the Ethan lottery. You know what they say, you have to be in it to win it. And I'm going to be in it until the very last minute. And the very last minute being when Ethan and Gwen are standing at the altar? It could be that Ethan will realize that I'm the one for him before Gwen gets back. Okay, look, do you know what the odds are of winning a lottery? About a gazillion to one, Teresa. And I'm going to beat those odds, Whitney. You'll see. I'm going to win, and I'm never going to give up. Never. What are you doing tonight? I don't know. Just hanging, I guess. Come with me to the charity event. Ethan said I could bring a friend, and who knows? You might meet a nice guy. 
Okay, the last thing I want to do is meet a guy. I've had enough with Chad, okay? <sighs> but you know, maybe I will go. If for no other reason than to keep you from making a fool of yourself over Ethan. I think tonight will be full of surprises. I can feel it, Whitney. Tonight is going to be very special. And I may even win the lottery. Yeah, dream on. There he is. <laughs>